reliability tests using the Cronbach's alpha equation is one of the analyses and form part of the item analysis to evaluate the quality of multiple choice question exam by uh, investigating and assessing the internal consistency of an items within a test From Bax Alpha, or equivalently called Alpha Coefficient, was developed by Lee Crombax in 1951. It refers to how closely related a set of items of an exam. It does assess the reliability of exam items. It measures internal consistency of items in a test that are dichotomous, i.e. correct or incorrect, such as multiple choice questions. Alpha measures the interrelatedness of the items within the test and the alpha coefficient of reliability ranges from 0 to 1. If all the items are not related, then alpha will be equal to 0. And if all of the items co-vary, i.e. related, then alpha is close to 1. Cronbach's alpha increases as the intercorrelation among test item increases, a test with Cronbach's alpha score of 0.9 or greater have an excellent reliability, and a test with an alpha value less than 0.5 will have low reliability. Cronbach's alpha formula was established based on the KR20 formula and it can be used to analyze scaled responses such as Likert scaled items or questions it can be used for continuous variables and it can be used to analyze the reliability of binary variables such as multiple choice questions from Bach's alpha formula or equation is equal alpha is equal to k divided by k minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus the summation of the, the variances for each individual items divided by the variance for the total score so k represent the total number of items the Variance I represent the variance associated with each item and the variance T represent the variance associated with the total scores. In the following table, the Cronbach's alpha range is represented by reliability level. A test that is reliable and have an excellent reliability will have a Cronbach's alpha range between 0.9 and above. A Cronbach's alpha range of 0.8 to 0.89 will have a good reliability. A test with an alpha range of 0.7 to 0.79 will have an acceptable reliability and a questionable, a questionable reliability of a test will have a range of alpha between 0.6 and 0.69 and an alpha range between 0.5 and 0.59 will have a poor reliability. An exam or a test that has a Cronbach's alpha less than 0.5 will be or will have 
and an acceptable reliability and will be unreliable test or exam. In the next slide, a table and a chrome tax alpha equation. The table represent exam result for 10 students who had answered 15 multiple choice questions. A correct answer for each question is recorded as one and incorrect answer is recorded as zero. And to evaluate this exam and assess the multiple choice question and determine whether the exam is reliable or not, we will use the Cronbach's alpha equation. And the first step is to do and calculate the total score achieved by all the students participating in the exam. And the total score is calculated by adding all the correct answer or answers each student had scored. Once the total score for each individual student is calculated, a variance for the total score is calculated as given here, which is equal to 22.36. The next step is to calculate the variance for each individual item or question as shown here in this blue shaded row each question has its own variance and then from the variance for those questions the summation or the sum of all the variance are calculated or determined by adding all these variance. So the total score variance has been determined and the summation of the variance for all the items is calculated, then the equation can be used to determine the value for Cronbach's alpha. And for the equation as shown here, k is equal to 15 as we have 15 multiple choice questions and the summation of the variance is equal to 3.42 and the variance for the total score is calculated then using the equation here and placing and inserting the value for each um, letters in the equation and symbol by um, using the k divided by k minus 1 multiplied by 1, 1 minus the summation of variance for items and the variance for divided by the variance for the total score. So if we replace the value for, of 15 divided by 14 multiplied by 1 minus the value for the upper part and the value for the lower part to generate a value of 0.91 which represents the reliability of the exam. So this exam or test is 91% reliable.